So I'm fairly excited to see what's inside this Kiwi Co Koala Crate because it's one of my son's very favorite topics, dinosaurs. And I will be reviewing and unboxing it in this video. All right, let's get straight to the unboxing first and then I'll do the review afterwards. But um, one thing I do want to note is that while you can see that this box is in pretty nice condition uh, because it was, came in an outer box and they didn't put a tape on it or anything. Um, but I can assure you that I have not opened this yet. So I have no idea what's in it. Let's go and see. All right, this one's called Dinosaurs. So this is the little booklet here that kind of tells us what's for um, or how to use everything in here. Instructions and inspirations. Okay, so the activities in here comes with three activities. Um, dinosaur dress up, clay fossils, and then dino match game. Okay, looks very fun. Okay, and of course it comes with a nice little magazine here. Let's see what this is about actually. Dinos like us. Okay, so this is kind of basically looks like it seems to be a magazine for kids they say. Um, looks like it's almost like a book reading for them to read really cool you even has a little um here to teach them how to make what are these dinosaur eggs that looks fun okay see what's included here so this set of stuff here um i assume it is for the dinosaur dress up so you're gonna be able to use this to make a visor um well, let's go ahead and put this list here so you can see a little better so with this um looks like this is the elastic the teeth horns and then the wig wise um, and then I assume this part here is for shape stickers, they call them. Okay. And then this is for the visor and then also for the foots or feet. Because <laughs> there is two of them and not just one. Yeah, looks like a fun activity. This is the dinosaur match game pieces. Okay. So it allows you to store all these pieces. So all these dinosaur match pieces into here so they can play with it. Um, and then this looks like the air dry clay for the fossil. And fossil stickers. And then this is just the... Uh, I guess these are the fossil cards so that they can figure out which one goes to which. Part of the matching game. Nice cute little dinosaurs. Has pretty much all the popular dinosaurs that my son knows. I assume that is Spinosaurus, maybe. I don't know. We'll take a look and see what it says. All right. Yeah, that looks like Spinosaurus. It's in the water. And then you get two little matching card games. Okay, this is also part of Felt Shapes. And that looks like that's everything that's included inside this box now time for me to do these activities with my son to see how he likes it unlike many of the other options with kiwico you have the option to purchase this crate as a standalone for 27 dollars 95 while you can subscribe for 23.95 a month and save a couple bucks with the subscription you don't always know which box you get now that my son has had a chance to interact with the activities in this kit is it worth it for $28 is not exactly cheap, but the activities included are pretty fun. I'll talk about each of the activity and how my son reacted to them. And then at the end, I'll try to recreate this box to see if I can make a similar experience for a lower cost. The first activity, the DIY costume, is a pretty fun one. The box does say three years and up, and my son just turned three last month. So he hasn't been able to do this by himself yet. But he still had fun helping me put the stickers on the visor and the feet. Since the costume is a Triceratops and my son's favorite dinosaur is a Triceratops, he really enjoyed wearing the cap while doing some of the other activities in his box as well. While he did like the cap, he didn't care too much for the feet as much, but I think that's due to how they were just using the elastic. It might have been better if he wore shoes so it didn't hold so tight to his feet. Overall though, this is a fun one. I can see him wanting to wear this dinosaur visor to pretend to be a dinosaur again and again. The second activity, give or take, is a one-time use activity where you put the dinosaur bone stickers on the activity card. Afterwards, you use the air dry clay and make a fossil mold. This was another fun activity for my son and he was pretty excited to see how the air dry clay had the imprint of the dinosaur bones on it. I wish that they did include at least one more packet of air dry clay so we could do this another time. The good thing is that it's not overly expensive to buy additional air dry clay and use it with the activity cards to do this activity again. 
The last activity is basically a dinosaur themed matching game. To be more exact, a color matching game. Even without explaining to my son what to do, he immediately knew to take the pieces off and match the color to the two boards. Of course, you can make the game a bit more fun by using the spinner to see which of the footprints you need to use. One thing that this box did disappoint in is that it didn't include a board book. I know that not all boxes come with a board book, but I'm willing to bet that dinosaurs are quite popular and would be a huge welcome if this included one. Luckily, they do come with this magazine that's basically a paperback book. It has a nice short story along with a couple pages of extra information, just dinosaur information. My son does call this a book and treats it as one, so it's not too bad, but I'm just worried about how long it'll last before this magazine gets a bit too used. To recreate the dinosaur costume activity, technically you can go the full DIY route and buy some felt and glue as well as some elastic, but I think it would be much cheaper and easier just to purchase an already made costume. For $13.99, you can get this nice looking costume that comes with a mask and a dinosaur tail. Recreating the dinosaur fossil activity is a bit more tricky. You could get some air dry clay and a dinosaur cooking mold to achieve similar effect. It would cost a bit more, but you do get more air dry clay to make multiple fossils. I couldn't find anything that had a spinner and a matching dinosaur game, but there are plenty of dinosaur themed memory matching games in the market that could act as a replacement. If you add up all the alternatives I just showed you in this video, it would cost you $52.36 to recreate this box. This is a pretty big surprise as I wasn't expecting it to be this much to recreate a similar crate experience. This isn't even calculating the magazine that pretty much is a short storybook. Let me know down below if your child is into dinosaurs. I'm not sure why, but it seems like toddlers just love dinosaurs. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video.